DF, you can have a good morning. I hope you guys are all blessed. I want to speak to you guys about something. And it's about divination, a cold tarot. And people judging the book by its cover. One thing you have to realize, and one thing that I've learned, and if you, if people would really tap into my videos, you'll understand more about all of this. You have people coming and they be focused on and trying to tell these tarot readers what they're doing, but they don't know what these tarot readers are doing it's people everywhere all over the world that's conning lying cheating stealing doing what they feel that they have to do to make it for themselves you don't know the reason for why a person they could have the gift of having a great intuition or seeing things or da 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 and be using tarot to get them out of the mud. Do you get what I'm saying? To get them from where they're at, to get them, you know, could be just using it for their job. You people are looking at things and judging the book by its cover when I'm clearly, and if you would sit there and watch what's going on, but you got to watch. That's why God tells us, be mindful, watch, and pray. And he also tells us, if you let man deceive you, I will come and deceive you. I've sit back during the years on YouTube and Facebook and even in my community. And a person can act any type of way and be doing something this way. And it be an act. Is what I'm telling you. Uh, and later on, you find out the reason for why they're doing different things. People can't be so quick to pass judgment and say what you think and who you think a person are. Because later on, you may find out that that was a whole mask the whole time that that person was wearing it's people have sit in church buildings just because you go to church did, if we did that you know i'm just seeing things for what it really is now um if we sit there and judge the book by its cover then we would never know who was sitting up in the church that wasn't even of god really that had on a mask that could have been molesting kids sleeping with the whole congregation and time and time again, we're finding out that more people that's in the church, they're dealing with sexual situations of maybe child molestation or some sort of, or they have their own hidden demons, but they be have, have sit in the church for year after year, after year, after year. You can't just because a person is presenting themselves as one way and you see them as good, you can't say who this person may be. It could all be a facade. It could all be a fraud. It could all be, it's thousands and thousands of people that's presenting themselves to be good on YouTube and presenting themselves to be tarot readers, but they're not. So it's hard to detect unless you are a person that have that gift of knowing. So you have these spiritually blind people coming in. Oh, you're you're going to hell and you're this, you're that and that. People are having to do a lot of stuff. And by the way, and by the look of it, it's so many of them that have stolen from everywhere. And they're just trying to get by because they don't know what else to do to get by. I mean, they can present themselves as this way and not even be whom 
the the facade and the mask and that person who you thought they were, they don't even have to be that person. That's how they're pulling the wool over. <laughs> oh my God, let me tell you. A person can present to you, they got all the money in the world. They got all the houses, cars. You don't even, for that matter, you don't even know how they got it. People have been doing things and wearing a mask and putting up a facade and putting people in an illusion and confusion for many, many of years. And that's how they actually became rich. But you people with these PPS brain, the PPS brain, you will sit there and you be like, you're not looking at this person that got that got it all and that's presenting themselves as though I did this X, Y, and Z or whatever to get to where I'm at. How do you know? You don't know what they did to get it. You don't even know who that person may be. They could have used a mask and been, in, uh, uh, been a fraud the whole time and just using people along the way to get to where they're at now. And they're a crook. And for many, many of years, because narcissists know how to wear masks for a quite a while to get what they want. But you people look at the people with the most. That's where y'all get it twisted. That's how you get. Um, that's how you get things misconstrued. Because people like to follow people that have glamorous stuff and they're popular and and uh, most of those people be entitled, be narcissists, then stole, lied, cheated, belittled, put you in an illusion, have you in a confusion, wearing a mask, a facade. These people have many of ways of being deceptive. They're Decepticons. They are liars. They're cheaters. And all along the ways, they got a trail full of people about to follow them into hell. Don't look at tarot and think that you know who a person is because you don't be knowing. That person's heart could be far from tarot and they could be doing this for a different reason. And that's where you guys get caught up at. Do you go over there? Oh, before it comes out and before it comes out in the open, um, you have people that would have sat in the church, stole money from people, um, da, 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 da. And like I say, God, God knows what he's doing. God is not, a, he knows what he's doing. Y'all over here looking at people in the tarot room when later on in life, you find out a person that's been sitting up in the church building been doing bad and ugly stuff for 20, 30 years and gotten away with it and just got caught. But yet and still you're over here pointing a finger at tarot readers. You don't know that person's heart. You don't know you for that matter. You don't even know who they are. You just look and see and you think, you know, you're judging books by their cover and clearly you could be wrong, but that's where God is getting people at. That's why he tell us. God clearly tells us. God already know a lot of people that hide behind these masks and they have facades and they're a fraud and illusions and confusions and all of that. God knows. He already knows. Most of those people sit right in the church building. That's why God says the church is going to be the first to go. Oh, God said, oh, you wanted to sit up in here and you wanted to play with me. You wanted to lie. You wanted to cheat. You wanted to steal. You wanted to be a pervert. You wanted to be most people that present themselves and have people in illusions and confusions and wearing masks and be child molesters and predators and all this and that and the other. Most of those people be sitting right in the church building and people be looking at them people as though they're better than someone else. And y'all need to stop it because you're the one that's getting yourself in trouble because God already know what he's doing.
oh, witches, warlocks, and divination, and playing with all. But now it's you know, just like Satan is getting more skillful, God is getting more skillful with His people. God knows what He's doing. Now people can uh, write downloads and stuff that they're filling on cards. How do you know that's of the devil? How do you know that came from the devil? How do you know it's divination? Just just as well as Satan can trick people, God is over everyone and he sees everything. You don't know the reason for why a person could be doing what they're doing. <laughs> <clears throat> my throat has been being a little hoarse and more scraggly or whatever and you know yeah people have been you know trying to stop or whatever but people are more skillful they can go and they can get downloads and in their int intuitions and write messages on cards You could have a person that's fully of God and just like Satan is getting more skillful, God is too. And he's using his people to get more skillful. People that practice witchcraft been sitting in church buildings for 20 years, gossiping, lying, cheating, stealing, and killing one another by your mouth and hindering each other and saying what a person is going to have and ain't going to have and gossiping about other church members and all of that. That's spell work too. But you also do have people that are witches, warlocks and all of that. And I'm not scared of them. No, God knew what he was doing. And that's why um, all of that is falling by the wayside because now you don't know who's real or who's fake. You just have to wait, watch, and pray and let God show you, okay? I'm tired of people presenting themselves as one way and people see them that they're good. And when you find out later on, this person isn't even they was far from what where people was putting them at on a pedestal, looking to them, following them, um, putting them, putting these people uh, on a pedestal or in a position that they never was even ordained or God didn't even give them that position. Man did. And that that was because people was walking spiritually blind and physically blind and, 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 and spiritually they couldn't even see. And they didn't know what they were doing. Because for that matter, they can't even see. I'm tired of people putting people way up here and you find out later that they was. And we all fall short of God's glory. So don't come trying to tell me What's going to happen to me when you're not even a person that would give a homeless person a dime. You're greedy. You're selfish. You're loathing. You lie. You cheat. You steal. You belittle. You hinder. You. I'm looking at everybody and I'm seeing everything and, and ain't nobody no different from the tarot than sitting in the church building. Oh, hallelujah. Oh, we, oh, oh. Because I'm seeing it with my own two eyes. <laughs> so can't nobody tell me anything. This is something I didn't see now. This ain't anything I heard or da-da-da-da-da. I'm sitting here watching. Pastors who are con artists. God ain't never told us in, in the Bible. Uh, that uh, a pastor was supposed to live better than his congregation. God never told us that in the Bible. God said that we will be taken care of now uh, from our giftings. 
we earn money, but the gospel is not to be sold, it's to be told. And it's a lot of people that's supposed to be. So wherever God is positioning his people, you don't know. Just like Satan is getting skillful, God is getting skillful. And that ain't even a word. Okay. Okay. Well, anywho, Satan's stealing money from everywhere. So you don't know the front of your hand from the back of it. The right of your hand from the left of it. And then God tell us that too. Don't let your right hand know what your left hand do. Don't let your left hand know what you. Uh-huh. Yeah. Y'all. Yeah. yeah. It's witches and warlocks in here. But uh, God, he's not going to let these people take his. Whoever's supposed to go and fall by the wayside that is of Satan, trust me, God, they gonna get to where they going because Satan gonna take them right up out of here. But whoever isn't, they gonna be left standing strong still in God. Why you people were spiritually blind, didn't know, you know, and thought that y'all knew what y'all were talking about. And all the time, y'all couldn't even see yourself. You all over here worried about Sally Sue and whomever's in um, the tarot room when you need to be worried about what you doing and what y'all been doing in the church building. Because ain't none of it no different. A person up over here practicing witchcraft and doing all this bullshit ain't no different than a person sitting up in the church gossiping every damn day. I've seen more fake people than people that's out there on the streets that's just being themselves and they speak highly of God. So you don't know where these people's hearts are or who they are. So hmm, y'all better wake up. You better wake up. These people are doing this for multiple reasons and you shouldn't just Look and point the finger at a person or uh, whatever, whatever, because God's still using them. You don't know where they're going. It's a thousands and tons and tons of uh, rich people that are con artists, liars, cheaters, thieves. And they have stole a lot of God's money and God is recommended. God wanted back. So he's doing what he's doing. And so y'all just sit there and wait and watch the outcome. Don't speak on people. Just see where everyone is going and what they're doing and let God work the rest out and pray for people. Just pray that they get on the right path. Don't look at a person and go to the yada, 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 because all, I'm seeing more fake that people is presenting themselves one way and they are the main ones that are thieves and cheaters, stealers, liars, and they've been doing it for years and they've gotten rich off of it. So don't try to tell nobody. Uh-uh. Don't, don't, don't. Just don't. Everyone's going to go to hell if they don't pray and they better believe. So, that's one thing you got to know, but just like Satan is more getting more skillful, God positioning his people. It ain't no witchcraft. It ain't no I ain't scared of. And I have people coming at me, got my name, my pictures, my everywhere on the evil altar. It's over here in this community. It's on the internet. And guess what? I do not care. I don't do none of that. I don't practice in witchcraft, none of that. And my cards and downloads and all that, you can't say where they came from. Because you don't know. You don't know if they're of God or of the devil. You don't know what's going on. So you can't say you don't know who I am.
So it's not for you to look at me and judge me and say who I am. You just keep sitting your weird ass up under someone and following someone into hell while you pointing the finger at me saying that's where I'm going. And make sure that's not where you're going. Okay? Okay? And that's just God on God. Because <laughs> don't no one come before him. Not in my book. So you believe what you want to believe and let God do the rest and just see the outcome. Because, baby, I didn't had like rich people take from me and it's been right on the internet. So they going to hell. If that's the case, then they're going to hell. But those be the same people that y'all looking at and following on somewhere because y'all feel that these people are someone when a lot of them they lost their gifts and they're walking spiritually blind and they have to steal they have to take from other people they have to keep their eye out on youtube and reach and grab and create and get ideas and da -da 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 from other people because otherwise they would be stuck just like a lot of them are gonna be stuck if they don't start giving me what i am commanding them to give me that God then told me to go to them and tell them they're going to be stuck because I'm sick of it and I'm going to shut down all platforms and just go on my way and I'm going to work my way maneuver through just physically throughout the city to I can get to where I'm trying to get to because I keep commanding them and I know that they've been flipping and dipping and whipping off of my items on YouTube. So what now what I want them to do to give me what I I am commanding them to give me. And that's my time back. That's my money for my energy. Now the gospel was for free. Things that I were telling them about God that was for free. But my creativity, my ideas, my wisdom, my knowledge, I'm commanding them to give me that. And if they don't, it's going to be a different. I've been trying to work with people. Don't leave me at the bottom of the barrel when you know that I've been helping. I'm commanding them to get for my poultry, all of that. That's my gift for my ideas, my information, my, my uh, testimony. They took things, okay? And I'm commanding them that y'all look at that's so high and mighty and full of creative and all this net when they've rich and snatch silently. And it wasn't no playing to it. No, you can't play someone that isn't aware that you're reaching and grabbing from their, because these people dibbling and dabbling in pods that it isn't of God. Okay, I've been helping and I'm commanding them to give me what I deserve, period. So, you know, that's another story for another day because um, it's going to go on and on and on and I'm not going to play. They not hurting me. I'm starting to see this thing for what it is. My information and my stuff is more of usage than they are to me. Like, and it's thousands and thousands of people on YouTube. Because I don't use really anything from them and I get my information, my items, my things are lifelong things that I've accumulated during the years that's been on the journey with me and within me and around me and I don't too much go to others or whatever to take from them and get things from them I get it strictly from the spiritual realm from God my idea you know and things of that sort and um it's uh things that I've learned and da 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 da, da and it's been things from me personally within myself 
I'm more usage for them than, than they are to me. Like, and it's thousands of people on the internet. Like they really don't matter. So now I'm seeing the thing for what it really is, is I don't need them. I'm more of a necessity to these people on YouTube than they are for me. Like, you know, so I really could just walk away and still I lost. They thought I lost, but the spiritual realm in the spiritual realm by the laws of the Lord, they took it. So they're going to be taken from two. So it's not, it's really not a loss because God continued to use me to create and come up with things and, you know, Things that are occurring in my life and that I've learned that I still can use and, you know, need to be put out. So it's to the point to where I'm more usage for these people on YouTube than they are for me. And that yet and still they try to keep me at the bottom. It's not going to work like that. You may think evil. You may try to. You may. But you're going to give me what I want or because you're not of any usage for me. Like when you're intertwined with the spirit and of God and all of that, God can use anything to help you. So God can take you off of YouTube or whatever and use people around in the community to help you and show you and guide you and lead you. He got people everywhere and he got people, places, things everywhere. So cutting YouTube off and these people, that wouldn't be a loss for you or it wouldn't matter for you and now I'm starting to see that and God is showing me that like I'm more of usage for these people and for them to even be in the presence of my energy than they are to me so I don't need them they need me and in the same token no one needs no one all you need is God God will bring other people and bring he does that so we don't have to worry so you know it is what it is but you know i'm saying you know i'm recommending them they see my stuff on youtube they know you know don't don't play me as a fool because you really the fool because you thought you were getting over and you were playing me as a fool but i'll play the fool we all need to play the fool. Let people think they do what they're doing. And then when it come back to slap them in their face, then that's going to be on them because they thought they were so much above you. They were hating for any way because they didn't have what you had. You've helped them. They uh, tried to hide your, your light. They tried to hide where they were getting this information from. They tried to hide that you inspired them, that you helped them, that you were leading them, that you were guiding them, that they were taking things from you. They tried to hide it. So now God is going to expose it. And people will know if you leave. They not get no more of that they can try and go get it. But just because of who you are and who God created you to be personally in yourself and the light that's within you and the energy you carry and the purity and the intentions and so forth it's one you know it's only a few because people deem to be so crooked to get somewhere everyone's fighting to get to a place that i don't even know where they going are you fighting to save your soul or are you fighting to look, present yourself as something that you're not to the public? Because God see all of that. And you're really in a never ending cycle when you're doing that. You're fighting to show people that you're winning, that you're bigger, you're better, you're more, you got more. You're this and you're that. And most of those people, they're still it. They would know from Adam to Eve where to get their ideas. None of that. If it hadn't have been for, for a person, place, or thing 
that was being used by God because all the person who God is using outweigh any and everything that an empty person can ever weigh out. People that are lost doing a bunch of drugs, people that are thieves, people are cheaters, people that are deceptive, people, them people don't be full of no good things. They don't carry no big splurt of energy and of light. Those people are full of emptiness and darkness. And they choose to be that way because they choose to not heal themselves. They're bonded and blinded by their addictions and refusing to heal and refusing to be right at heart and refusing to lie, kill, steal, destroy, and sabotage not only themselves, but others. So they're empty. Their energy is not no good usage. The person that is full of purity and pure intentions that shoot, you know, they, they tell the truth. They're honest. They're about their character and their, you know, integrity and da, 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 da. Those people are full of a burst of light and energy that people can feed and fest and eat off of because they be empty. These people are already drained over here that's empty and that are liars, cheaters, still, and they are constantly in a revolving cycle of karmic situations and they're not getting off that Ferris wheel. It's just, it continues to go on and on and on and they're constantly looking for where they can reach and grab, steal, cheat, lie, and manipulate, and hate, and be jealous, and kill, steal, destroy. And those people be empty and drained. And their energy is not even of no good usage. That's why those people over there, they attract alike people. Most of those people that are following them are headed to hell. Uh-huh. Don't judge the book by its cover. I'm trying, I'm going somewhere with this thing. I'm trying to teach y'all something and I want y'all to understand and I want y'all to stop it. You're going to give me what I deserve or I'm going to cut this off because I've been telling y'all and telling y'all and y'all keep warring against me, spiritual warfare. Fighting against me when you know that you're using my items and I've helped you. You would be a fool to lose a person as such. You're going to be a fool because God going to take me because he knew my intentions was right. He knew I was pure. He knew what I was doing. I was on my job. While you were on your job to take lie, cheat, steal, and deceive someone and show the public that you are great and mighty and you're entitled and you're this and you're that and people, you get your feeding and your festivities and your festering off of other people building you up and you're a nar just a narcissistic triangulation and it's tons and tons of people that are like that that are on the internet and I don't understand how you don't see yourself because you've been on that never ending cycle on that Ferris wheel for forever going around and around and around and nothing have changed. And you just use people to build you up and on the inside, you feel like poop and you're miserable and you hate yourself and you lie and you cheat and you steal. So y'all do what y'all do. But that's all I just wanted to tell y'all. You know, it's a no for me. Don't look at the people from, because God is showing me that. And I'm looking at both. And I've seen it a lot. And even on the internet and even in the flesh. So I'm not on no one's side. I'm on my journey. I'm going to continue to be on it. And, you know, God knows what he's doing.
God knows what he's doing. We don't know anything about what we're doing. In the name of Jesus. So guys, you just stay tuned in and tapped in. And um, if you guys don't mind, if you would like and subscribe to my channel and hit that like button. And also that donation thing is right up there um, on the front of my YouTube. Um, yeah. Donate, donate, donate. Y'all know it's income tax season. Y'all know y'all haven't paid your tithes. Y'all know y'all can drop a little something in there if I ever helped you. You don't have to tell no one you did it. It'll be between me and you, but you know. Gone and hit, you know, gone and drop something in that thing. Y'all already know. And, you know, and I'm going to constantly keep giving back in the name of Jesus. And you guys have a blessed day.